So this is my review on Batman Hush. And no, this is not the movie review, but I will be doing that soon. This is the comic book review of Batman Hush. Overall, this story um, is, I think, a great Batman tale. I feel like the movie doesn't do it justice, even though it kind of tells some parts of the story. But there's a, a lot of um, drastic changes they do in the movie than you know what's originally in the comics. What I like about this story, it's um, basically, and I'm not going to reveal who actually Hush is, because I, spoiler alert, but I mean, it's different than the movie, even though kinda, um, essentially this this whole um, story, it's about basically Batman's love life, but also gambling with the fact of um, who Batman is, and also dealing with um, hard times, and even to the point it even tests his own um, rule, no kill rule, and you know, I feel like the story as a whole just kind of brings the full circle of just Batman and the Bat family and his villains um, into one great story arc where it doesn't feel like some villains are kind of wasted. Even I feel like Poison Ivy a little bit is kind of wasted a little bit and actually brought better into the movie. But actually in the comic, I feel like Poison Ivy was kind of wasted a little bit. But you got villains like Killer Croc, you got Poison Ivy, you got Harley Quinn, you got the Joker, you have um, Clayface, uh, Riddler, and um, uh, well, I, I mean, is Catwoman considered a villain? I mean, in this, she's not a villain. But um, and the, and that, that's at this time when this was created, I think this is right before um, they did uh, the Death in the Family and. Red Hood and Red Hood comes back with Jason Todd and all but um just for a reminder so if you kind of get confused at some point if you do read it and it doesn't make any sense just remember this is before Jason Todd comes back as Red Hood but to kind of tease that a little bit with also oh that was the other villain um uh Ra's al Ghul. and even the story manages to put some more um detail into his origin and the, the death of, um, you know, uh, Bruce Wayne's parents and a little bit more backstory into Bruce Wayne and even his uh, best friend. I truly appreciate the story and doesn't make, it's not predictable at all. It's great. Now, the movie, they make it very super predictable, especially if you read the comics, but they kind of do twist it. And I guess they had to do that so it wouldn't be predictable. But overall, the comic book version is better, way better than the movie. Even though the movie just is good too, but it's not as good as uh, the comic. I give it a rating of a 8.4 out of 10 of Batman Hush.